We are Dynamics Fanatics. Our aim is to simplify technology and offer expert guidance to drive business growth and streamline operations through Microsoft Dynamics Business Central packs and subscriptions, all while maintaining cost efficiency and rapid deployment. So after this demo, if you would like to find out more, we'd love to hear from you. Business Central is part of the Microsoft Dynamics stack of business management solution. So, you'll be able to access the app directly from Office 365 and it integrates natively and seamlessly with Outlook, Teams, Dynamic Sales and Sales Pro. And of course, you can connect it to the Power Platform to allow automation of some of your processes. The application is fully cloud-based, so you don't have to maintain a server in your premises and you can access it from any web browser or using your phone or tablet apps, which are available from the various marketplaces. To log into Business Central, you'll need to go to office.com, click sign in in the top right and log in with your credentials. Select apps on the left. Click all apps and you'll see Business Central in the list. From here, you can save this as a bookmark for quicker access now that we're on Business Central, you will see the landing page also known as the Role Center. As Business Central is a role-based application, you can have multiple roles for different users. The look of this landing page will change depending on the role. For example, here I am logged in as a sales order processor, and you can see that the navigation menu, shortcuts and interactive tiles are all tailored to my role as a sales processor. If I now log in as an accountant, you will see the look and feel of the landing page is going to change to again, tailor to my role. Now that Business Central has refreshed, you can see the finance specific menus and shortcuts have updated also. Navigation is very straightforward. You can use the tailored navigation menu to access the area you'd usually need to access. You can open the full navigation menu from this button here, which shows all areas of Business Central. The shortcuts in this menu are also fully customizable. Going back to the landing page, here you can click on the interactive tiles, which also act as shortcuts. If I click here on this tile, for example, this will open a list of purchase documents which are due today. You can see the data that makes up the number on the tile. I can also use the intelligent search function, which allows you to type some keywords and search results are going to intelligently find the areas you may need based off that keyword. The pages and tasks section allows you to navigate to specific pages. The reports and analysis section allows you to run specific reports. I've opened my customer list here and you can see that the application has got a layered approach so right now I have multiple layers underneath here. If I open this customer's page again, you will see that the second layer has been added on top of it, and I'm still within the same browser session. If I click out of this layer, I'm going to be back to the layer that was underneath. In any of these pages or sections, everything is fully customizable. So if I click the cog wheel here, and then click the personalize button, I can move columns around. I can open the field menu and drag and drop fields as I please. Once I am done, the personalization will be saved specifically to my user profile, so this won't affect other users. They can personalize their own pages. Another nice feature with this means if I was to open Business Central on another device or web browser and log in with my details, this personalization will carry over. On any page, you will find the bookmark icon. It's important to note that this bookmark is specific to Business Central and not your browser. This controls the bookmarks on your landing page. You can also control these through the Tell Me function. Business Central fully integrates with other business apps. For example, here in Outlook, from any email, I can click the Business Central icon and this will open insights about the contact that's in the email. This is going to connect directly with Business Central. I could, for example, create a brand new sales quote that has been requested in this email. In addition, the quote was very specific as five monitors were requested 
and you can see that Business Central has identified this from the body of the email and suggested the five monitors as a line on my quote, which I'm going to tick yes. My quote has then been created within Outlook, which I can then draft and edit the email to then send out to the customer. Back in Business Central, you can see the sales quote has been created as well as the creation of the customer record. Business Central is also integrated with Teams, so if I navigate to Teams here, I have the ability to search for Business Central and I can search contacts directly within Teams. So this is the contact that I created earlier and you can see that I can view the details and open the Business Central page directly within Teams to be able to view or edit the details of that contact. I can also tag records within Business Central. For example, here I'm going to open the monitors, which I put into a quote previously. I'm going to open that record, copy the URL, and I can tag this record directly within a conversation and then submit the chat. And you can see that I have again the ability to view the details of that record from Business Central directly within Teams, as well as the ability to edit or review the information. Let's go back to Business Central now, and I'm going to show you how to process a sales order so that you can get a feeling of how a document is managed within Business Central. I'm going to click Sales Orders and create a brand new record for one of my customers. I'm going to add an item that I'm selling but of course you could be posting to the general ledger as well. And you can see that within just a few clicks, my sales order has been created and I then have the ability to ship, invoice or ship and invoice that specific record. And there we are, my sales order has been processed and a posted sales invoice has been created, which I can then of course send directly from the application. Business Central also has a fully customizable chart of accounts, and the chart of accounts section is typically used as a report itself. It is fully interactive and can be filtered. Business Central also has a concept of what we call dimensions. Dimensions are analysis codes, and creating dimensions is very simple. It's simply a matter of creating a new record and then adding dimension values. Those values can then be tagged in specific general ledger entries and other ledger entries such as customer or purchase ledger entries. At Dynamics Fanatics, we approach implementations differently. We recommend an MVP approach, which is a minimum viable product, to get you going with Business Central as quickly as possible. We approach implementations with a series of packs such as Core, Finance, Sales Ledger, Purchase Ledger, inventory, manufacturing, warehousing, fixed assets, and so on. That way you can pick and choose the modules that you want to implement. If you're interested to find out more, feel free to contact us via our email, hello at dynamicsfanatics.com. Or, you can head to our website and use the Get in Touch section. Thanks for watching.